recording. <laughs> we we here now. Fifty-six. What? We we here now. Reef's all <laughs> confused. We've been away for so long. He forgot how to fucking pod. You know what I'm saying? Fifty-six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, it took us but we're here now. You know what I'm bit. saying? I'm all pumped up because I took the coil packs out of my fucking BMW. It was terrible. It was. I was in treacherous waters. All fucked up. Shouldn't have done it, but I did it. I was here, had time. Fuck it. We're here now. This man you know? said he was in treacherous waters. I was in the trenches. You know what I'm saying? I was in the trenches. <laughs> okay. See, look at Reeves, look at Reeves' face. He's like, "What the fuck you know about trenches, man?" <laughs> I did 30 years in the army, yo. I, I, what the fuck? You hey, know about bro. I, I, you silly, bro. <laughs> you silly dude. You're, you're hey. a silly dude, man. So, so listen, right? Earlier this week. I was telling fucking Reef that I'm fucking sick and tired of these fucking Hayabusa. Because I am, okay? I'm fucking sick of them. I don't like them that much, to be honest. I don't understand what the fuck is the hype about a big motor fucking Hayabusa. They're oversized. You got to spend a million fucking dollars to make them fast and light. I don't get it. So then, right? So look at this one, right, Reef? You're going to like this one. I have a question for you. So then you spend, I don't know, Let's call it 50 grand, right? To make your fucking booster, whichever one, pick one. I don't know. You need to be my bro. I don't I don't fucking know. Right? Pick one of your yeah. fucking boosters. You spend 50, 60 bands. Man, get on with your question, bro. Like what? Hey, listen, what, no, what you got no, to no, have? I'm trying the build up. Let me cook, okay? <laughs> Let me fucking cook. All right. So you spend Stupid, 50, man. 60 K, make the shit fast oh. to then go out and race for free. Make it make sense. For you, right, that you're as knowledgeable and skillful as you are, right, you're not a shop owner, right? No, so I'm for, not. For a shop owner, it, it makes more sense. You know what I'm saying? If you're not afraid to race the bike at that point, right? Because then if, you, if you're a shop owner, bro, first of all, I mean, that's a give and take, right? Like you should right. be, if you're racing for free, I think most of the guys that I know, on a personal level that are shop owners they'll 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 play you know what i'm saying for free but they will also put up the ten fifteen thousand dollars five thousand dollars whatever at the same point at the same point point bro you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like a catch-22 but it makes more sense for a shop owner to build that consumer that is not it is really just doing it for the fuck of it for the sport yeah, you just you just cut out somehow and then came back in, but um, you, you did too. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but okay. So I, I'm not certain which one I. Okay, so why do you spend? Would you say fifty thousand or something like that? So this is the thing, right? Like, cause cause we're gonna get into this whole jigsaw busa debate that fucking you want to have, right? And and that's mm -hmm. I'm I'm all about it in a different episode with more people involved. Right, right, that are that are fucking fully knowledgeable of all of the the, the shit, right? But mm -hmm. right, looking at it in like fr from like a very simplistic way, bro. Right, uh -huh. you get a jigsaw, bro, for you know I don't know, depending on what year, right? Cheap money, right? You could be into it with what a fucking I don't know, maybe like a three by four or or whatever, a built motor for maybe I don't know, thirty grand or so. Maybe even cheaper, depending on how much you pay for the bike. Right. You know, and, and whatever. You know, maybe even 25, fuck it, depending. You know, if it's a very simple setup, you know, not the fucking works. But a simple setup that works, right? Versus a mm -hmm. boost up, you're gonna be into it for, I mean, come on, bro. At least at least fifteen thousand dollars just in lightweight parts, right? Plus the cost of the bike, if not more. Yeah, I mean, think about that, bro. Wheels, all the carbon, subframe, uh, you know, let alone all, you, you know better than fucking most about this shit right here. Mr. Yeah, Custom. yeah. Mr. I, I Custom. Just, I, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I just, I just, from Japan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. You know, I, I just think that, I think in 15K, some would argue that you probably should just go turbo, right? And then, because turbos typically don't give a damn about weight anyway. True. But if you don't want the turbo issues, 
and you're trying to make an NA bike fast, a Busa. I mean, yeah, it, it's it, it's expensive. It's um, but I, I, you know what though? That's any bike. That's any bike. No, it's it is every bike is every bike. Yes, but I feel like the boosters. It's in a different, it's in a different scale, right? Because there's levels to that, and I feel like the scale compared to the value to what you get, bro. It, it's not fucking the math doesn't math to me. Well, I mean, the math. I think the I think the issue is like. For lack of a better way to say it, is like uh, social media, right? So like everybody sit there and looks at uh, who who got some nice boosters out there, and it depends because if you're talking, you know, fast stock motor stuff versus I don't know fourteen forty one stuff versus fifteen ninety six versus sixteen thirty fives, like yeah. power adder turbo, like it just depends. Like you said, it's different levels, there's tiers. Yeah, I think you know if. For the average boost owner, if you're a big guy, then yeah, you. I mean, you just you gotta spend the money, you know. I think if you're smaller, it's a lot easier. But I mean, again, that's any platform, any platform. Okay, so so riddle me this one, right? So you go ahead on, right? And you got a boost up, right? Mm -hmm. How many how many boosters do you see in a roll race scene that are really not that have that gain some kind of notoriety? that really put in work that you see videos like uh let's let's say let's take like a will heat for example right the he mm -hmm. wakes up and goes racing like every day he eats breakfast and he goes racing like that guy right. that guy he puts in work you get what i'm right. saying you there's will heats there's you know um there's a lot of guys out there that have jigsas or collies or you know the guys out in texas you know what I'm saying? That I do a lot of work out there too. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Some of my guys out there, you know, Corey, fucking John, Nate, Caden, fucking uh, a, a lot of guys out there that that are outside. You know what I'm saying? None of them got boosters, bro. Name me, name me a booster that that's really outside that has, in a social media aspect, has the notoriety. I don't see it, bro. <clears throat> okay i'm so, not saying they're not out there there's beautiful there's beautiful boosters out there there really is right i've right. seen some it's just bro compared I, i'm not it's not it's not making it for me bro well i you know i really think that maybe um so you guys okay he's saying doing work all right what do you wait i'll wait, <laughs> I'll wait what do you bro. okay what do you mean by doing okay i know what you mean by doing work you know come um, on so there are several <laughs> hold on man like I, look look bro you ain't watching uh shakur fight bro like i got you i'm, I'm answering <laughs> <laughs> hey I, okay so there's I think so. Again, it depends on the tiers. You know, um, uh, what what was his name? Uh, Crossbuild had his bike out there. Chris Moore has several boosters. That's that's decent. You know, obviously, he's uh, not outside. Clap. Well, I mean, not roll race wise, but because yeah, that's talking, what I'm talking about. Oh, roll race. Um, yeah, yeah. Now, had, uh, what's that guy name? Rand Randy some Mayors Myers something like that. Clap shop. I think it's. I think it's clap shot performance, but um, him. I mean, uh, EJR obviously he has the both of those boosts. So uh, Chris Prado's bike and then his people that actually race, bro. Clap shop definitely, definitely like I've seen a couple, but like I'm talking about guys that really have a lot of content out there racing, bro. Beater Busa has, I mean, it's not the caliber of bike and forget the caliber I, I don't give a flying fuck if he's got fucking paper mache mm. holding that shit together bro i, I, I don't <laughs> care you, I, it's not about that you know what i mean like i'm just I i'm just I i'm just saying bro like guys you you just don't see a lot of boosters out there repping bro and i would love well, to. that you know what though i think i think that's because the in the leader world like the horsepower versus weight ratio the after which 
the Busa has the aftermarket just like the Jixxers, right? And we'll get yeah. into that as you alluded to earlier, like later. But um, I think the okay, yeah. So there's you're having a tough time here, bro. I mean, I know of several Busas, but it's like doing it's drag. Work. They're probably drag. They're full drag bikes. No, I mean they. I see them on social media, right? So like they're they're in the you know they're they're in the scene. It's just like what you're saying. Well, where, you know, like a wheel heat type, that, and that's what I mean, bro. You know what like, I mean? Like you don't yeah. you don't nah you don't really see. I agree with you. now. That's not to say they don't exist. Um, there are several boosters out there that exist. A hundred percent, bro. A hundred percent. I believe there's that, bro. Uh, what's his name? Um, I believe he's from Texas. Uh, what's that kid's name that has the black and purple K67 there, that Karita Tunes? Sly. Sly. Sly built there. Mm. That he, he came out with, a, I don't know if it was his or a customer's, but it was a yellow and black Busa, bro. On I saw it. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. BMW. That thing was fucking beautiful, bro. And it looked right. fast, bro. It looked like it was pretty fast. But once again, like, there's, there'll be a couple with a couple of videos, bro. I would like to see one, like, really, like, setting up shop, like, making a name for itself. Well, you know what I'm saying? Um, like, I think I, I think that um, Evans Busa is more than capable, you know what I'm saying, of making a name for itself. He just has to show. You know what I'm saying? And I, sure. I would love to see more boosters outside, at like, at the event in Georgia, bro. Vita well, I mean, that'd be the same thing, same traffic as just like the 14s, though. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I, you know, it'd be the same thing. Like the big bore bikes, like to make them competitive, it's just, it's just, I don't know. It's a lot. Man. Especially it's, it's, in a half is. mile, bro. Yeah. It's, right? it's, it's, especially it's in a, a half. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a yeah. lot, bro. It's a lot. Um, I think, I think that Boosa's. With their aftermarket, obviously, they they have they, they're capable. They're more than capable of being outside per se. I just think that it would take the right person to want to spend the coin on the bike and all of the dial in and everything else that's involved in it. Because to me, if you set a boost up or kind of the fourteen two, if you set both of those bikes up similarly to what you have, like your your ZX10 or your or your S1K, my S1K, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you can do that and you're willing to spend that money, then because it all boils down to funds, I think. And you know, money, money. Absolutely. It's all money. Like, and it's it's and, and as you can see, it costs them, it's you got some nice ass bikes, but look how much money. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, look how much yeah. money, bro. So, yeah, it, it's not, very. It, it, for huh? example, right, like in the, bro, I, I literally been in the scene what maybe eight months, bro. You know what I'm saying? I built three bikes, right? And every mm -hmm. and every bike that I built, it was a learning curve for me. You know what I'm saying? I love the learning curve of this, right? It's all like I could have gotten right into something crazy if I chose to, but then what's the fun in that? You know what I'm saying? Like right, I like right. the learning curve of this. So from the CBR to the BMW, and then I spent the money on the BMW, but I also know where the BMW stands and where I'm outclassed. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't mind shooting high. I don't mind shooting for the for the Gen 6 CX10s and the 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 17 and, and plus Jigsers. I don't mind that. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it's just building up my skill set for when my CX10 is finished. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't mind it. The BMW is a platform that I respect it for what it is. Mm -hmm. Far from the fastest. Even the K67s will be far from the fastest for a long time to come, unless you're willing to dump all the fucking money. And I don't think it's worth it. I think with the K67s, you're gonna need more than money. That's that's R and D. That's it's a lot. That's um, because I mean, again, I you think know what I said bike something. Reminds me of that. You know what bike reminds me of the K67? The what? fucking Triple R, I think, is going to be a very similar bike. It has everything there, but it's going to take some time, and it's going to take, like, minds really sitting down and spending time to make it what it should be. I I honestly, like, um, 
and I might be wrong, but I, I, I really feel like all, all bikes are relatively the same, right? Like they're all the same thing. Motor, giant air pump, like it's just a motor. So like the Triple R, the Busa, whatever platform you choose, obviously like you're shorthanded because of aftermarket. So like if the Triple R, if you, like let's say you was looking into a Triple R recently. So like if you got a Triple R and you decided, you know, I don't want this factory overboard nonsense. Um, I want to go like big or whatever, whatnot. Well, you could do that, but maybe there's no rods. Maybe there's no pistons. Maybe there isn't a crank, even a welder, right? So like yeah. now, even though it takes money, what if, let's say Marine told you that to build you a two by four, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just to do your crank, just go four over or something like that. Bro, we need 10. We need 10 people that is willing to spend like $4,000. Well, you yeah. don't know 10 triple R. No. People that, that, that own the bike. Yeah. So then that, what do you, that, you're that, willing, they come up with another deal for you and they're like, okay, well, you give us eight to $10,000 to develop. Who is doing that? That's no, the problem. It's a, it's a fact. And that's, that's where, the problem. That's where my problem lied with the whole triple R thing, bro. Because before I bought the ZX10, which was a fucking headache in itself in a sense, but I don't regret it. Um, the the my whole thing with the triple r was is all right i'm gonna sit here and, and pay twenty eight thousand for this fucking bike all mm -hmm. right yeah i know someone that could make me an arm um and i know there's bolt-ons out there so on and so forth but what what is this all gonna cost me so from 28 turns into 38 real fucking fast oh, and yeah. climbing oh, and yeah. climbing yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah. let's be honest right so let's be honest on the low side $40,000 bike with still a lot of improvement mm -hmm. to, to be worked out. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? The math was not mathing to me, bro. It, I mean, it wasn't. I For mean, me, technically, you technically, know? if you spend thirty dollars to $40,000 on a bike, if you were willing to, because um, this addresses what you said earlier about shop owners or even those guys that just have these fast ass bikes. If you feel some type of way about spending forty thousand dollars on the bike, you technically can get that bike that I mean that money back, but you would have to be out there racing. Yeah. For and for, remember for shop owners, that's a write off. There's a lot of write off too in that. Yeah, like that's and and so that's another thing too. As a shop owner and a business owner, it's a lot of write offs. Which is also something. Yeah, that, yeah, you know, it, it's it's, it's almost like um, that's your advertisement for your shop, man. It's marketing. Exactly. You exactly. know, um, that's your brand, I guess. But um, yeah, like the Busa, the Busa can be. Um, if okay, so but if you look at okay, I shouldn't. Yeah, a lot of the Busas that I know of, we know of, do look pretty. And some of them are relatively quick and fast. I mean, what am I supposed to say? I just got my ass beat by a Frederick Douglass Jixon 1000. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I think that it takes a while to dial in the bigger bikes because, you know, it, it, you got to spend, to a certain extent, twice the amount of money. And the problem is a lot of these Busa owners, and I'm not, you know, I'm not putting them down or anything, but like, and I'm not any better, you know what I mean? But a lot of the Busa owners, like you'll see in the drag community, if something doesn't exist or they want, you know, like HTP, I'm sure, you know, in the pro street world, real street, like they have, if you walk through grudge bikes and all of this, like you'll see stuff on their bikes. Like you just can't buy yeah, that shit yeah, at no store. Yeah, yeah, you can't. You can't. Yeah. Cartel has a badass ZX10. So like the masses, when you post something on IG, they see it. And they the just see the shell. Oh man, look at that. Look at this dude. So, so what do they do? If it exists, they immediately Go start buying what they see. Yeah. Well, the problem with that is that train of thought is like, now you have 15 fucking cartels running around. Yeah. But nobody has a leg up on anybody outside of weight. Yeah. And I think that, you know, horsepower wise, depending on builder and setup and all of this other stuff, I mean... That's about the only difference. It's the same thing with the H2s. All H2s relatively are the same. It just depends on who put your stuff together, who has yeah. a bigger supercharger versus, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. the same thing. Yeah. 
So like in the booster community, it's the, it's it's definitely the same. Because if you look at, for instance, and this is no hit against um, Evan and AJR, but like, you know, if you look at his booster or Chris Prognos booster, when I look at it, there's nothing different or new about those boosters that isn't prevalent for the last 15 to 20 years. But the problem is when someone sees, like when cartel sees this guy's Busa, they're like, oh, well, all I have to do is this to be fast. Not, not necessarily. You yeah, know what I mean? A lot because more behind the scenes. It's a lot more. You can, you can spend all the money on parts, but it's a lot of, as you know, chassis set up. Yeah. You know, a lot of people yeah. just go and run around here. No shocks, no, no nothing. They just throw That's a bunch up. of parts at the bike. And then when they get in the streets, they get their asses kicked. Then it's like, oh, well, I did exactly what I saw on IG. <laughs> uh, it's not you know what I mean? Yeah, I did exactly what I saw. So, um, and it's funny because even talking about EJR's bikes, I know um, eventually we're gonna, have, you know, he'll be on with Will Samidi, and we're probably, if not the chat, we will probably ask him like, okay, but why, with such popular bikes and stout bike builds, why aren't you outside per se? You know what I mean? And I know that question yeah. is gonna come up. You know, so 100%. among some other ones. So I think I think that it's very possible. I mean, you would build a booster if you came across. Well, no, you probably wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Would it, it would take a very specific platform booster for me to even consider it, bro. I just, you know, I'm not a I'm not a fan of them like that. I I like the side pairings. <laughs> I, well, I, like, I think <laughs> what gen though? What gen is your favorite? Honestly, bro, when I was at Cheeky Shop uh, and he had a fucking a guy dropped off a brandy new one, that is probably the nicest Busa I've seen. Even, even I hated the tails, but the tails. Oh, actually, it was the same Busa that Marshall Brown put together, the black and orange one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I like yeah, that. Yeah. I like that Busa. I like it. I don't mind it. You know what I mean? Although I don't understand why the cluster looks outdated still, but. You know, I'll, well, I'll, I mean, they got they got a TFT in the middle, man. Like, it's it's a little update. I mean, you know? I, whatever, whatever, bro. But you know, I don't mind the new ones. Maybe I would buy a new one to just cruise around one day as a cruiser. You know what I mean? Not like I would do something to it, but it wouldn't be nothing. Uh, you know, like over the fucking top. But you know, that's about that's probably the only gen I like. What gen is that? Uh, I'm not That's like the uh, three. The three. I think, yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people like the Gen Three for its body work, which it grew on me. But, but everybody, for the most part, the middle ground of power, performance, and looks is the Gen Two. You know, mm. but all three of them, I don't care. Like, all three of them suck. All three of them are not competitive. I don't care what nobody says um, against some of these. Well, a lot of these leader bikes. Like it's it, just it, it's a hard bro. It's, it's, it's crazy. Fucking tough. You know, drat now, you know, at the strip, it's a whole different animal. You know what I mean? The strip is a whole different animal, but you know, that's that's a different topic. Like roll racing wise, man. It, I'm I'm not saying they're not capable. It's just once you look at what you spent, bro, like you gotta be a shop owner for it to make fucking sense to me, bro. Like if you if you it just Mm -mm. You know, so but there's so, a lot of diehard Hayabusa guys too, bro. There's a shit well, ton. well, well. Think about it though. Like, look at it through 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 this lens, right? Like, let's say you got a brand new ZX10 and or Jixxer, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever, whatever the platform. A lot of the money spent is relatively the same, though. Think about it. If someone buys a 1K and it's some max effort. Whatever they want to do more, like um, what's what's his name? Matt. How much does a brand new booster go for right now? Um, oh, brand new, brand new. I think that depends because you probably anywhere from I would think about sixteen through twenty k plus, depending on the dealer. You know, okay, so all right, location. so let's say so let's say twenty bands. We'll we'll call it twenty k. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw I saw the the fortieth gen uh, the fortieth gen uh, anniversary uh, ZX10 the green blue white I really like those by the way 
Um, mm. the, the Gen 6 body is starting to grow on me a little bit. But mm. um, those go, I seen those for like 19. So let's round it off and call it 20. So you mm. got the Busa and you got the, the, the Gen 6. Uh, the ZX10, got the, it. The ZX10, right? Both of them. We, we got them both here. Uh-huh. Full bolt on on the Busa, full bolt on on that 10. That 10 is going to smoke its boots all day long in the morrow. Same full bolt ons, full fucking bolt ons, bro. That yeah, boost, but that boost okay, is okay. gonna get come on. Yeah, but but okay, so but you're talking about okay, we're specifically talking about the gen three. So you're not you're not generalizing all boosters, you're just talking about the gen three. And yes, well, the gen money, three so, is at a disadvantage. So we can get a money scale. So we can get a yeah. money scale. Okay. How about well, uh, because I guess you, if you, you do gen one, gen two, it doesn't matter. Bolt on the bolt on horsepower wise. Um, oh, oh, I'm just talking about even if the booster makes more power, it's still like bolt on a bolt on. The booster's still gonna be heavy as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And like, I just feel like it's not. It's not gonna be the same, bro. It, you're still gonna get your ass whooped on a road. Um, I think that depends on rider. Yeah, yeah, because there's there's a there's a lot of variables, man. You got the rider, um, rider you weight. You can try that. You can try that, that, but I still. And, and then, right, and then if you add on to a ZX10, um, I apologize. I'm sorry for cutting you off. The uh, mm -hmm. right, if you go from a Gen Six and flip it to a Gen Five, getting rid of the electronics, because you can do that as well. Because mm -hmm. then you, because with the new ones, you hinder power and shit like that with the uh the the drive-by wire whatever the fuck they call that mm -hmm. a lot of people go they revert back to a gen 5 to make more power you know what i'm saying because it's less restrictions and shit like that so I, I i think now and i'm not positive but i think now um i think the gen 5s and gen 6s are starting to catch up to each, each other i think the gen 6 actually depending on because the transmission all of this i think it even the Gen 5 to Gen 6 stuff, I really think it depends on the racer or the rider. It depends on what you're using it for. The and I think that's the same thing as the booster. Yeah, the Cowies and the, even the booster is the same thing. You well, know, if the, the Gen 5 and Gen 6 are the same shit except for the, uh, if you get the Gen 5 and a half, sorry. The 1920, the yeah. Yeah, fucking like, like you get a red top like mine, mm -hmm. you know. It's just you, you you throw that Gen Six trainee on there and you you're fucking golden for the most part. You know what I mean? Like, but outside of the RR stuff that comes with it, outside of the, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. you know. So, but bro, I, I think you know. I think generalizing from bolt-on standpoint, bro, especially if you have two riders that are the same weight, that boost is that it's it's gonna be a hard day for that booster, bro. Okay, and we see this with. Um, uh, boosted catfish is gen three right yeah but but let's now move into this topic though it's, it's along the same lines uh, what if though you decided from zx10 to busa to do the same exact thing not no normal bolt on nonsense oh i got an exhaust a filter and a tune okay what if you start to do real motor work okay head that's different versus head cam Head cam versus head cam, um, rod to rod, piston to piston. Because remember, Carrillo, CP, uh, Marine, and or AP, they like support, all of these they support parts. support it all. Yeah, they support it all. And they're relatively the same price for across the range of all platforms. So if you look well, at motor build, motor okay. build, yeah, you get a Jixer. I mean, granted, Jixer got a better aftermarket, so that might not be it. No, it's a good, it's a good example. Uh, they're both equal, bro. Jixer yeah. and IF and Busa, they're pretty equal, um, bro. Yeah. So for your ZX10, I don't know if it exists, but let's say a billet crank for your bike, your ZX10 exists, or even a, a no, not yet anyway. Okay, well, what if it did? What if Maybe. it did? Or <laughs> or or the 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 BMW, the S1000. If you look at cost to cost, cost to cost, cost to cost from the primary parts used, it's the same thing. But the difference is, right, now that you have a leader bike and you have a billet crank and do all of this stuff, 
versus the same money spent on the Busa motor, what happens? Okay. The 1K is so, going to get his ass whooped because. You you, all right. So, all right. So, I'm a, all right. So, I'm going to, I'm going to put this out there. Okay. Good. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to put this out there. And, you know, it's going to be what it is, bro. All right. And yep. we're going to, we're going to, we're going to segue a little because I don't want to get into this specific because we got another one for this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But let's put, let's put. Okay. Let's put Will Heath's bike mm -hmm. versus, I don't know, either of Evans' boosters. It doesn't matter. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, Will Heath's bike, I believe, is set up for, for fucking nine-tenths, right? So in a nine-tenths race, I feel like that's going to be a really good race. Half mile, not so much. Make sense to you? It it does, but I mean that's well yeah, I guess that's kind of apples apples. I don't see the, or, the problem is or it, we could take or we could take, but if, if you really want to go there, right? If, if, yeah, if, yeah, if, yeah. If, if you want to take Will Will Heat out of the picture and put some meaty there in a half mile race with either of Evan's uh boosters, what are you really trying to say to me here? <laughs> um, you 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 get what I'm saying? Okay. Um, in that scenario, the get me. I think that I think uh, it looks as if Will Will Heat or Will Samiti probably would be the see. It's, it, it, but look, we don't know, right? Because this is bench racing. We don't know the mock-up of both of their bikes. We don't know shit about either one of the bikes outside of the size, 1441 or 1590, well, 1600 rounded up, but whatever. Yeah. Versus whatever Will or whomever has. You know what I mean? Well, the we difference know this in, much, right? We know, we uh -huh. know this much. We don't, we don't know, though. You know, like, and I you're think. You're right. You're right. But we know this much. Will he rides his bike? So his bike is, uh, is way, is way, to my knowledge, right, it's way more of a reliable daily driver than Samidi. Samidi clearly doesn't have to ride his, he's got other bikes, but, you know, I would take it that that's not a bike that he's going to fucking go on a stroll. Yeah. Through Miami with. You get what I'm saying? Right. right. So, uh, with that, with that, right, as common knowledge, I would say that Samidi's bike is more of a, well, we want to get to this you want to get to this money well bring bring what you got because he never says whenever he says who who's willing to play he doesn't say who's willing to play everybody but hayabusa he never says that i it, it's a, it, it, it's just who wants to play i don't think he really gives a flying fuck what he faces i i, so, I really think i think that um as i spoke to Will um, in detail about this very topic, and I don't want to like spoil it, but like uh, I think that he sees because he had he had a, a a stout booster before, and I think the biggest thing is like if you set up a booster, I'll just say this: you set up a booster very similarly to the fastest one case Jixers or whatever it's the fuck is out there. Um, it's a problem. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, and you're right, but it, it's it's gonna it's gonna take some it's it's going just like the gypsies. It's gonna a take lot, some, but it's some gonna money and some more. time. It's gonna cost more though. No, not necessarily. That's see, that's the thing. Like, if we're having the argument, bolt on the bolt on. You're right. I lose the argument. The boost of fucking sucks. <laughs> but if you're talking build, that's different. That's different because the the parts associated with the build is relatively the same. It's like the same pricing. Like I said, rod. I get pistons, what you're saying. I get what you're saying. You know what I mean? Like all of that across yeah. the board is the same price. You you and get so, you well, get more. Almost the same price. Almost uh, same engine price. engine build to engine build, you'll get more out of a Busa. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, I the think 20, 
the displacement and all that bullshit, like you'll yeah, get more think, out of them. I think but, the biggest question would be is if Will Will he Will Samiti um Evans, those two boosts that he has, well, one of them is not his, but whatever. Street ability versus unstreet ability. Mm. That's the like to me, that's the biggest question in all of this. You see what I mean? Because if 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 Evan um he talks about it all the time, if Chris Progno can run that 1600 cc bike all over the place for 500 miles or whatever the hell, but then Will Samiti can only fucking make a pass and come back. You see what I mean? Yeah, that's way different. You see what I mean? Yeah. That's like that, you know what I mean? That's like this. Yeah, now let's say you did this. There's shit out there for boosters, no extra cost that can do this, but who the fuck wants that? Yeah. Who's gonna be willing to pay that money? So if Will, so if Will Samiti has a fifty thousand dollar Jixer, spend that same fifty thousand dollars on a booster. <laughs> Bro, like nobody, I think the problem is in the streets right now, well, roll racing anyway. I mean, they got plenty of drag bikes, but like roll racing. Nobody, nobody that we know of, you know, you got Reggie's, um, Reggie has a booth that's very nice. I don't know what size, mo I think it's a 1441 or 15, whatever. Then you got um, Mustang Dame, his is 15, well, 1600, Look, I'm gonna just say 1600. And then 650E, 1600. Clap Shop, I wanna say is like 1441. So like, Shavito Rebels or Robles, remember that tan booster that came out? Yeah. Um, run around with a uh do mungus and all of that. I yeah. wanna assume that's no, I think that was stock motor or something though. I think no, I think that's a head cam. Is it okay? Wave well, and head cam. But you see what I'm I guess what I'm uh, I'm saying is like if you look at the bikes that's out there now and you try to compare those to like some of the fastest leader bikes, like your your ZX10 probably is gonna turn out to be. No, an average head can't, an average boosa. I don't give a fuck how you set it up. If it's not from a dig on a drag race where skills overtakes power, roll racing? No, nah. no, nah, bro. Like, no, nah. you going you you going out of that list that I just named. If those bikes are not four hundred and I would give or take four hundred thirty pounds or below, with a good rider, with somebody like yourself that has a I don't know, 340 pounds ZX10? Man, get the fuck out of here. No. It ain't 340 yet, bro. That's no, that's but that but you know what I'm saying though. Now, yeah. he, now Evan, you know, um I I think he's he's making claims of his bikes being 370s, 380s, 390s. Shit like that with a nice size motor and well set up can probably hang. Can it hang with these down 330 pound gypsies though? With strokers in them? No. No. Yeah. I, don't, I don't care. Like I no, I don't think so. You know. Um, you know, and it's funny because everybody's raving about how like the Gypsum 1000 has all of this aftermarket, right? Like three by four, five by twelve, six by twelve hundred. I the boosters had that for years. There's yeah. 10 11 mil cranks out there for the boosters too. And you know what? Displacement will win. But how do you put all of that torque to the ground? Mm. You know, these Jixers, Chase and Brent and all of these guys, they on standalones. How many of the boosters that I just named is on standalone? Mm. If they not in a bikes, not turbo stuff, but yeah. like in a bikes. Yeah. You see what I mean? So like and that's another thing too, Reed. The half mile is a motherfucker for those bikes, bro. For boosters, a, yeah. It's it's a lot. It's a lot. That's a that's a that's a that's a big bill to foot, bro in a short distance versus a lighter a, a lighter bike making you know similar power well i i i look at it like this i mean granted the booster has a lot of torque so you got to fight the torque but that's some of the excitement to me anyway i love mm -hmm. the, the you know but if if you don't want that sort of thing let's say that a leader bike is extremely light but then the boost is slightly heavier. If you look at land speed guys, land speed guys, which kind of sort of to me translates over a little bit more out of everything to roll racing. They don't fucking make no damn bike 300 fucking pounds. Yeah. 
Hell no. That's that's the, that's the opposite. They actually put weight. You know, they distribute it, but they actually make their bikes like heavier. But yeah. I mean, these you know, this is land speed. You know, so if you look at a legit land speed bike versus a nine temps or re a regular roll race mile bike, you'll see it's night and fucking day. And that land speed bike is probably going. But how do you stabilize your your yourself at high high mile per hour? When you only weigh 300, you know, you get a good headwind, it'll lift you in the bike up at those speeds. Yeah. So, like, but anyway, that's a whole other topic. So, we're going to digress. So, anyways, yeah, man, like, um, I really think, I really think that, um, yeah, I think that the 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 booster could be in the 14, too, you know? The 14 is slightly at more of a disadvantage because the fucking entire frame is like the bike, but... Yeah. <laughs> you know, but um, that's no longer an argument because they make they make those uh, trellis frames now for the bikes. A lot of the drag racers use it, but I'm sure somebody's going to shell out the eight through ten thousand dollars and come out with a tubular frame fucking fourteen or booster. Eventually, somebody's going to do it. Somebody yeah. with some money, they're going to do it. Mm. You know, so but you you know that that's a damn good question. Like who? I don't, and I think we only think of EJR's boosters because I want to say on social media, he advertises. He has the, the, he has the most relevance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he, he advertises it the, the most, I think. I don't see Mustang Dame or 650E, like some of these nicer, these other boosters. Like, nah, they, they're on the humble. I don't bro. see it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? yeah, yeah. I don't see them but standing on my own. Now imagine, right? Race. Now, now imagine if all these guys, you know, what if they did an event, a shootout for money? That's really what should happen is a fucking shootout with a big ass fucking pot between some of the biggest boosters. You know, well, so whether, whether two wheel is uh, working that, though, I think Artie is. Uh, I, I heard there's another one coming up in Atlanta. I think the last one was a bus or some shit. So. Uh, no, no, but that's a yeah, no, I, I, I may or may not go to. To, to the one uh, coming up in August, but that's that's just an all around event. I'm no, but that's about, what I'm saying. Like to be able to show which potential platform is king, because if you limit it to boosters, man, like I mean, I guess you could, but well, even there's if only even if it's six fucking, even if it's a, a private event. Really, to to you know whether it's seven, eight, nine fucking boosters, bro, with a fucking I don't know. At the end of the day, maybe like a fucking five, ten thousand dollar pot. They could figure out a fucking pot. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, and but like, but who would be competing out. in that though? Like, you have those that would be at an advantage and disadvantage. So what do you? So I mean, just weight of rider alone is is whatever. You know what I mean? Um, the you bike is the bike. Figure that out though. You could always figure that out because you know seven eight guys could could uh hey everybody got jockeys okay cool figure out jockey weights or yo i'm fully com i'm fully confident in what i have i'm gonna run my own shit. i don't give a fuck what you have it's i think that there has to be more stipulations behind it because you'll get somebody like what comes to mind, 650 Eve or Mustang Dame, they're tight bikes. Headlights, looks normal. And then you'll get somebody like my dumbass that shows up where it's just, it's a pro street bike for the streets. It's stupid. You see what I mean? And that's not yeah. fair across the board. So like, even with, if we had an S1000 shootout, I think somebody has said something about that some time ago. But imagine bringing your nice ass BMW and then you see Right beside you, some all race faring nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's not that's not. You know what I mean? Like it's not. It's just not apples to apples. It's just not. And you know what, bro? Uh, and I uh, and I'll put it to you like this: mm -hmm. in in a in a race like that, would I do it with the money involved? Absolutely. It would just it would have to be an amount that I'm comfortable losing if I'm going against bikes like that. And I would do that. Just to mm -hmm. see where where my placement is, because if I get if I get my fucking ass smoked in a half mile, then I'm like, all right, well that makes sense. 
they're also, I would think, like if I showed up to an event that was all boosters, right? But let's say there's some form of a clause that says, well, if you're a jockey and I mean, you're 180 pounds versus somebody's kid, a grown man that's 110 pounds. Okay, well, let's say cartel now is like your CBR. Oh man, he got a bottle on that shit. Well, is cartel authorized to fucking run his bottled bike versus this child-sized guy on a max effort, whatever the fuck he's on? Yeah. Is that you know what I mean? Because yeah. again, like you're trying to, you know what I mean? You if it's a it true run, run what you run. Like, yeah. 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 But no, but you know, and I you know, these jock were well, not jockeys, but the race game nowadays is like everybody tries to it used to be run what you brung, but now it's like I see cartel, so I'm gonna throw my fucking child on this bike, and you gotta yeah. race the child. It, it, you know, it, you know what I mean, bro. And that's in all, and in all reality, bro. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah, man. races I just, need a. No. You know, I agree with you. Races need to make sense. I, I don't see why they couldn't do a Busa a Busa event, um, and and at least have at least like a, a conversation or like a, a group chat between some of the biggest guys or whatever whoever would want to take take part in that mm -hmm. and try to figure something out and either you figure something out or you fucking don't it's very simple it's either gonna work or it's not gonna work i feel like like so let's say for, but for you, gotta, you can't be afraid to lose bro right because if you're a fucking shop owner right and you're trying to thrive off of i build the nastiest roll race boosters right and then everybody fucking loses at the end of the day right but mm -hmm. if this is what you're if this is what you're hanging your hat on you're not gonna want to fucking lose bro you're you're not you're not and if and if i'm wrong then fucking prove me wrong but until uh, I see it, yeah but i you know i think no okay so nobody wants to lose obviously um if you're a shop owner and bikes the risk, is your thing the the the, the, the risk is, is greater than the reward I, yeah, yeah, I. The risk is greater than the reward because you get your shit smoked. Yeah, you know but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily believe that though. Cause like, well, the younger, okay, social media, right? But like, if you look at a lot of guys in the game, whether it be certified or what's the other guy's name? Savage, whatever the hell, STPI, Lee, like, Wolf, like any of these big name guys, Carpenter, whatever, right? If you look at shit, even EJR or or who else, uh, Five Up, these bikes that they're coming out with, I think that the average guy who's either getting into the game or who's already there, they can appreciate these guys building whatever the fuck they're building. You know what I mean? 100%. You know, I don't, I don't believe because I think that there's a big misconception about who wins and who loses based upon these shop names. Like, nah, because he, you can build, bro, you can have the fastest whatever the fuck built for you. No no funds, cut, whatever. You know what I mean? And then you're still going to lose. You know why? Because you don't know how to ride. 100%. Like, like, so, so is shop that the builder's fault? Be, like, shop no. Shop owners shouldn't be blamed for that. No, no, no. And, and, builders, you know, tuners, And a lot of no, people get no. thrown in that mix. You're, you're no. right. No, so like bro, let's say like, there's no. two races, right? Like, oh, mm -hmm. Reaper, Reaper 1300, fucking, I don't know, blasphemy tune versus Street Cartel, fucking Batman tune. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you got light years of more experience than me riding, even though I have the faster bike, mm -hmm. numbers wise, and I get my shit smoke. Ah, oh, yo, nah, bro, fucking Batman tuned is fucking is trash. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think like, smoke. yeah, man. I, I I see that a lot, man. And I think trying to blame tuners and builders like that's you know, not fair. Me, that's not personally. Fair. I would build. I blame a builder if 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 I have a ZX10 just like Cartel. We both got builds. Yeah. And this motherfucker leaves me by thirty bike limbs. There's obviously a problem. Yeah. Cams ain't degree right or 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 something. heads over ported. Something's wrong. You see what I mean? Yeah. But if we have, if I'm, I'm, I'm racing you and, and I'm right beside you, especially at my size too, like 
yeah. and I'm right beside you and you're leading me by a bike length or two, okay, am I mad at the fucking builder? Nah, can't be mad at Come that. Come on, bro. Like, you can't be mad at the builder for that. Like, the bike is the bike. The rider is the rider. So, like, people blaming, I mean, there are some, some tuners out there and some builders that probably suck, but, like, I think builders and tuners get a bad rap. And I think social media and these average guys is up and coming, like, they looking for the blame when they fucking lose, bro. That's all it is. They want to blame Yo, somebody. And this brings me to something else too, bro. That that like that kind of fucking kills me, right? Like know your fucking place in, in certain scenarios. And what I mean by know your place in certain scenarios, right? There are there's there's differences in certain things and you know I don't see the point in so you know if you're a tuner or a shop owner or whatever there's no need to bad mouth one another or whatever the case may be or uh -huh. shit on, on anybody else if you're a fucking tuner right and mm -hmm. you ain't got no shop you don't even have a fucking you don't even have a fucking storage unit mm -hmm. something it doesn't fucking matter if mm -hmm. you're if you're if you call yourself a tuner and you fucking in your house and you're making fucking rips down a fucking down a road right and you call yourself a tuner you should not be shitting on anybody that has a fucking shop or a day-to-day -day business that they run i okay so okay and, we got some this, internet stuff going on and cut, yeah. cut out okay so I, I got your last transmission right and so this is what i think I disagree with what you just said, and this is the reason why. Because some of the greatest work, right, mm -hmm. has come out of people's garages versus shops and vice versa. Mm -hmm. I think that depending upon, because you got to figure too, a lot of these shop owners that now own these successful shops had to start somewhere, just like any other business. A hundred percent. You know what I mean? So let now, me tell you this. Th this, is why, this is why I'm saying what I'm saying. And I agree mm -hmm. with your point. Mm -hmm. But my thing is, right, I agree. Some of the best work come from the guys that are low-key, may not have a, a full-on shop. But mm -hmm. if you're attacking these people, right, mm -hmm. with these big shops and people that run day-to-day -day businesses, right, that aren't just tuna shops, mm -hmm. they do everything. Those guys are running a bigger risk on the day-to-day -day because they have a much bigger volume than these guys that just might have an acquired uh, skill set. You know what I'm saying? Right, so right, 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 right. If if you're sitting here talking shit about Batman tuning that pumps out fucking 50, 60 bikes a week tuned, and, you know, I don't know, in a year's time, 20 of them might have issues. It's like, no, I don't go to Batman tune because he did this. This guy had this problem. I don't think that's fair. You get what I'm saying? Because when, when you're pumping shit out, man, it's a different animal. You're in a different place. But that also that that also may prove to be somewhat of an issue too, because you're pumping shit out versus concentrating and being meticulous. So I feel like again, it just it just depends. It just depends. Good business practice would be not to put anybody down and just if you come Mind to me, this is what I ahead. offer. Yeah, yeah, like you know, I mean that's good business practice, but in the role race game, that doesn't exist. Yeah. You know what though? Most of the time, you don't even see the businesses quibbling amongst themselves. Is you know who it is? The fucking people that have the fucking product. I That's agree. them, bro. I it's agree. them. Brentoon don't come out and hate on Karita. Karita don't rarely say shit about Brentoon directly. Yeah. It's when me and you race, and somehow I've missed shift or over revved or something, but I want to blame the fucking tune. You yeah. see what I mean? So now I'm gonna sit there and be like, "Fuck Brentoon," or Karita or EJR or Reaper Tune, whatever the fuck. You yeah. know what I mean? And that's what's happening. Is I don't think it's the businesses, but you're right. You are or you have a, a level of um greater responsibility if you're a shop owner. But for those who may think that better work comes out of a shop, nah, not necessarily. No, nah, nah, not nah. and that's not and that's not the point that I, I was making. For me, okay. it's okay. No, that's not the point. That's not the point that I was making at all. For me, it was just it was just kind of like understand where you're at, bro, and mm -hmm. have and have a certain level of respect for the other guys 
that may be in a different place than you that sacrifice because every everybody sacrifices man all these guys go sacrifice in their own way you know what i'm saying but the level of fucking responsibility so let's say i build a fucking motor right i go to a fucking a heavyweight shop my shit Uh goes up right they can be like yo b this was on us we'll make it right now if you go if i go to a guy that maybe hasn't built as many fucking all motor bikes or whatever the case may be shit hits the fan i melt a piston or whatever the case may be mm-hmm. oh yo bro I, i'm sorry but i i don't have the funds to really help you you get yeah. what i'm saying yeah yeah now that's I, I... now that's to be mindful right like you gotta be mindful of that type of shit. I, you know what i'm glad you said that because you gotta be mm-hmm. mindful of that type of shit, right like I, you but... can't Go ahead. Here's here's my train of thought on that, man. Like, I was reading something on Facebook the other day. Um, I think I commented a couple of times. Um, so people think because they get some 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 build or some tune or whatever, whatnot, like the builder or tuner is automatically responsible for whatever, right? And yes, in some cases, like let's say um cartel gets his motor build and it blows the fuck up and after the teardown they see that the rod bolts wasn't torqued to spec or some shit you know what i mean yeah or uh, something 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 that is the builder's fault yeah but in most cases builders will tell you there is no i stand behind my work but warranty wise bro if you want warranty don't touch anything yeah because easily easily like something can fucking go wrong for no uh, 100%. reason for no, Listen, for no bro, reason what once you and, and i i was having this conversation with one of my boys recently bro once you decide to open up that fucking motor bro you gotta be ready for whatever comes your way yes and you because know you i said- feel i i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna go through my first motorcycle build mm-hmm. but Car builds built fucking plenty, bro. And bro, you just you just never know at the end of the day. I think what that's you know. why those guys with the big motor bikes, um, whether it be jixers, boosters, tens, whatever, like again, to me, you can tell how big something is by how much they use it. Like, like for me, remember what you asked when we first started, like who's outside? So some people are just whatever like they just don't race their bikes or they want to race the bike but then whatever then you have some people that have some genuine big shit but yeah you just me and cartel want to go down to mcdonald's nah bro because my bike will make it but it ain't built for that shit yeah you know what i mean yeah (laughs) so i'm not tearing up my fucking buckets man or trying to drop a valve because of that so like yeah you know what i mean so so i think that's that's what I look at. You know, if Will Heat is genuinely out here running his ass around, um, to me, while that might be a faster bike than average, to me, that says, nah, Will Heat is not. I mean, he's fast. The video say it's fast. But to me, and fast is subjective, to me, that's not fast. That's just some normal ass bike with some some over the top or over average motor work. Mm. Fast is when your shit has to fit in the corner. Mm. That's fast. That's to me. You know what I mean? Fast is when, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, fast is fast. And I know it's subjective, but that's that's to me. Okay, you know what I, I mean? Get, because I get, I get, yeah, I get those you. type of bikes ain't ain't living off no pump gas. Those type of bikes ain't, you know what yeah. I mean? The yeah. compression, you like you need race gas to fucking for the bike. You gotta warm up the fucking bike just to turn it on. You know what yeah. I mean? Shit like yeah. that. Like that's different running on methanol or fucking alcohol you know whatever like that's different you know and i think that's the misconception now that we're dealing with which we will talk about later but like some of these bikes out here you see cartel has his nice ass zx10 and he just got it man you just came back from i don't fucking know reaper carpenter racing or some shit you know what i mean reaper performance you got this big ass 12 by 14 in your bike 
but is riding around on the street somehow. That's a fast bike to average. Yeah. But how fast is that bike against a bike that has 16 to 1 compression? Yeah. That bike can't run pump gas. You can't. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And therefore, that's 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 my train of thought on it. And I and I, you know, you are, you know, we talk offline, so you already know what it is. But um and yo, it takes it that's, takes a yeah. different type of guy, right? And a different type of animal. Like, mm-hmm. like even bro, I I love Samidi's just the look of his bike, bro. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, I love the way that bike looks, bro. And but to have a bike like some of these guys, and, and I've had I've had people hit me up, uh, you know, uh, privately, like, yo, you know, do you know anybody that you know wants to shed out ten, fifteen grand for a race? You know, respectfully, we're just looking for a race low-key we don't want to be on social media i've I've gotten those messages like yo do you do you know anybody you know what i'm saying but there's not a lot of people in that realm bro Mm -mm. there's just Mm -mm. there's not you know what i'm saying there's not and uh man with the economy huh with the economy the way that it is it's rough bro the average person average is not about to run around here spending thousands of dollars on a fucking race like that's and, and some people have it that way though. You know, if you have disposable yeah. income like that where you can bet five thousand dollars on a race, whatever. Now, I understand the pots making sense. But for me, like when my projects are done and I, you know, obviously somebody's gonna proposition me to race or something. Yeah, a couple of hundred dollars. Okay, maybe I could deal with that. It depends what I'm doing at the time. But you want me to race you for ten thousand the fuck? On a built ass motor that for whatever reason decides it don't want to ship or or something goes wrong. So now I gotta replace my motor and I gotta pay you tip. Let me get the fuck out. No, no, I'm not doing it. Get the fuck out of my face, man. Yeah, <laughs> you making me cuss. We demonetize, bro. I'm demonetized. Hey, you made me cuss uh, a lot on here, bro. Like, no, hey, get the fuck out of here. I'm not yeah, hey, yo, high nah. risk, high reward, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nah. But I get it. I get it. I don't bro. I can go to the goddamn casino. Okay, I can go to casino, play Russian roulette. You know what I mean? Or is it called Russian roulette or roulette? You know the little thing that spins, yeah. the little table, the little yeah, thing yeah. that spins. Yeah, roulette, roulette, roulette. Roulette. You know what I mean? I could do that or play blackjack or something before I go out here talking about spending a thousand dollars on. And if I feel like, and then it's crazy too because it'd be like disadvantages. So like, do I understand Evan's point? When he's pro, see the problem with Evan though, and I'm gonna say it, and, I, and there's nothing against him. The problem with Evan is he keeps broadcasting or advertising. He wants to race the world. Who wants to race me? Well, you can't do that because you know all. You've already advertised your bike to be extremely fast, right? By design, whether you you're racing people that's like uh, below average, mm-hmm. maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not saying he does that. I'm just saying your bike looks very fast. So who's going to come out of the woodwork? Obviously, the fans and everybody wants to see 12 by 8 fucking race you. The problem is, though, while you're sitting there saying you want to race everybody, you don't have that caliber bike. Nor do you want to spend $3,000 to race somebody you know is going to kick your ass anyways. One, it's a bad look for your business. Two is a bad look because you tried to race the world and you you're gonna lose or you lost. So I think for something like that, bro, like that shit sucks, man. It, it just so so anyway, all right. So yeah, with man, that, all right. So I, you, you I wouldn't do that. It. I and and I completely understand what you're saying, bro. Because I, I said something very similar to him uh personally uh, mm-hmm. uh, in a conversation I had with him. Uh, and uh, what do you do, bro? Right? Because if that's if that is your if that's what you want to hang your hat on, right? Mm-hmm. And that's and that's the the crowd that you're going for. Mm-hmm. You got you gotta you gotta start taking heads off, bro. I don't. I don't. It, it, you got you gotta you gotta be able to prove your product. I don't necessarily think that that was like what what um, what he was going for. I mean, 
everybody knows Will. Like everybody knows Samidi. Samidi yeah. just he has several bikes he can race for free and just for fun or small small dollars. He got one or two bikes that's big, you know. Yeah. Um, some of those guys, Brett Chase or whoever else has these 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 things out there, like they race for big money. But I guess where I'm going with that is Evan. His issue would be if if he tries to showcase his 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 product, he's advertising and showcasing what he can do. He's trying to lead the 10 stuff and say, this is what I can do with a booster, right? The problem with that is if it has to be, and people will see it, people will recognize it. You're only beating average or below average bikes. So if you if you're trying to prove to me that you are that guy, I need to see you beating things that make sense to us. Because yes. a lot of us are not like we're not slow, we're not stupid, especially within the roll race community. Yeah, they're not and gonna buy it. They're not gonna buy it. They're like, you know what I mean? Just like back in the day when he was beating turbo bikes. Now the average person looking on the outside in would say, oh man, he just beat a turbo bike. Damn, that bike gotta be fast. No, nah, look at the caliber of bike he's racing. But that's for those in the know, like you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And so the problem that he's having now is. I think those in the know, it, it, the, the crowd is a lot larger than it really, you know, it used to be. The yeah. audience is a lot larger. So now everybody can see those conversations that's happening behind closed doors. Like, and now he has to figure out how he's going to wow the crowd now. Because quite frankly, outside of tuning, nobody's going to pay him any attention until he either comes up with a lot of money to race these big bikes or he stops racing below average bikes. Or at least yeah. what what people consider to be average below, to below yeah. average. Yeah. And that's the problem. That that and that's hard. That's a hard sell. But but we can all agree that the average person that's self-inflicted though. Right? That's mm -hmm. self-inflicted. He like he he brought this on himself. So I mean nothing against him, but that's and it's not only him. I think that. He's just, I think he's the most, one of the most popular guys dealing with the topics that we're talking about. And yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, he's the one that voices his opinion the most. He has a podcast too. So obviously he voices his opinion. He, on he's the out there more well. than the average guy. Yeah. He's not the only one. I agree with you. He's Mustang the Dane most, talks. The most relevant. He's one of the most. Yeah, relevant. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mustang Dane, you know, he's fast. You know, uh, I mean, 650E. <laughs> I mean, nothing against 650. Like, you know, he, he's he's a he's a fun guy, but like, no, like, I seen it. You know, it's funny. I was fortunate to see his bike in person, and um, my immediate thought, all I could do is look at his bike and compare it to what I have coming. And I was just like, bro, like, if we raced, even though I'm 10 pounds heavier than you, like, it's not a race. Mm. I would kill that bike. You know what I mean? Um. So that's what Evan's dealing with right now, and we'll be we'll be fortunate to ask him whenever uh, him and Will um, gets on. And then you know some of the things I want to ask Will is like, well, I know why, but still, are you willing to race for less money than fucking thirty thousand? Like who who does that? Like who has that? <laughs> Think about it. Think about it, bro. Like you try you trying to take take um old girl out man you trying to go to red Lo is it red lobster over there i know red lobster over there bro red, red, there we don't got no fucking red lobster you ain't got no red lobster bro no, like no. olive guard like one of those like uh, uh olive, what? We have, like, yeah, listen man you know, you know what i'm talking about hey nah. bro you, you know what i'm talking about Garden, bro bro i used to eat at it that, look that used to be nice bro what i'm saying is whatever nice restaurant that you want to take your lady bro you're not taking it nowhere for years thirty thousand dollars twenty thousand ten thousand whatever that's expensive, bro. Not counting if your shit breaks. So those chick, those Chick Fil A thirty piece nuggets, man, they hit different, boy. Let me tell you. Anyway, <laughs> I so yeah, man. I think I think um, if if he calms himself down and um, maybe you don't you don't want to race the world, but then you just 
You just go out here, man, and you just race people that make some sense, and then you get some footage of it, and and you call it a day or whatever. But I think for him, and, and he's playing with boosters, man, and um, man, it's a lot that's of booster people big, out there, bro. Yeah, it's a lot of booster. It's a lot of twenty-year-old platform. Yeah, bro. Yeah, we we have yeah. questions for you. you know what yeah, I'm come on, come on down. We got that, questions. That's, that's, you know what I'm saying? We got questions. Guy, Listen, bro. We, you know, and, and not not to isolate because I feel like we isolated a lot, a lot on Evan, and it wasn't like it's no, just no, his, no. But I mean, his, I, his relevancy. Know, he's he's very relevant. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would love I would love to have all like calling all fucking big booster guys, bro. Let let's get some shit cracking. You know what I'm saying? I would love to see more boosters outside. Well, so okay. With that being said, though, here's the problem with that. If you call out all the big boosters, whatever they may be, 1441, whatever, they will show up. But the pro well, they may not show up. You know why? Because there is no 1441 versus four. It's run with your brung. So, like, if I'm showing up to a dance and everybody has 2,000 CCs and I got 1596, why? You know, you know why? Because Why even bother? Who's to say, who, who's to say that those 2,000 cc's is working that day? You know what? I believe in that. But guess what? Even in a half mile. It's a risk. Even in a half mile, bro. Even if you ain't fully set up. You see what I mean? Yeah. Once that tire comes down and them 2,000 cc's, them 400 to 500 more cc's kick in, bro. And listen, you ain't making it to mile, the A. In that half <laughs> you might mile, not make it, boy, bro. Listen, listen, in that half mile, it's anybody's fucking race in a lot of scenarios, bro. And I'll you tell see you it. something. One thing that I will say is that uh -huh. I don't I don't fucking put I don't one thing that I that I will shit put some money on is uh -huh. that Evan can set up a fucking bike. And I, I don't think that if he went out there, bro. These fucking guys with 2,000 cc's, they better come correct. Well, see, but see, that's... And that's a hard... That's all. You can but, have all the power, bro, but sometimes... I know, I know, but that, that, in essence, is the problem, because as long as... I don't even want to... And, and it's nothing... I'm not taking anything away from anybody who who who, who does what they do, you know? But the average individual, if you're paying close attention to your your bike, mm -hmm. bro, oh man, the fucking bike is willying a lot. What do you do? Is digging, stiffing the shock. The bike is spinning a lot. Soften the shock. Now there's a lot more into, but it's just stuff like that. Whereas the average individual can set their like you can do this stuff yourself. When you talking about, yeah, anyways, I'm not going through that because that's his, you know, that's their business versus something that's that's for fun. Listen, um, MB Racing out there, bro, like that dude, he doesn't he doesn't um, advertise um, a lot, but that dude, yeah, he, he got some, he, boy, he got some shit. He got some shit, man. Like that dude, yeah, yeah. Booster yeah. guys, where the fuck um, are you? Um, see ya. Bring I mean, out. I, I you know out and invite me. I'll fucking I will shoot a whole fucking movie about the whole event. I would love to. I don't well, like boosters, but I will you, go. Prove so me so wrong. so what are you okay? So let's assume let's assume that the fastest boosters in the country show up somewhere and they race. And then what are you saying? The top one of two of those race the top whatever the fuck in, in the leader world, uh -huh. which right now happens to be Stroke of Jixus. Yeah. Again, even if you take the fat, to me, you take the fastest boosts, how are you competing with that caliper of Jixus? How? Well, I know how, but I know how, but yeah. I mean, that's that's my point. Yeah. Yeah, that's a and and yo, that's what I was telling you from the start, bro. It's a, you know, I just for for me, bro. Listen, I respect all bikes. I just I, I personally don't like 
boosters don't do it for me. I, I fucking have this conversation with my boy every day. Well, you know what? You can say that. But guess what? If you got... There are some platforms in the leader world that's faster than others. A, a Jixel 1000 by itself, bolt on, bro. Hmm. Your BMW I'm or goddamn Jixel too, bro. But I'm just but, saying, like, outside of the little weight reduction stuff, stock to stock, they suck. They trash. Mm, no, yeah, so, I mean, I, you know? I, any, I mean, I haven't raced, uh, I haven't raced a shit ton of uh, the Jixels, bro. But the little, the little that I have raced. You know what I'm saying? They were far from like they were pretty well set up bikes, bro. You know I think saying? now, obviously on the drag strip, that's different. I've always been that besides one guy, but I've always been the heavier guy too, like by quite by a couple of pounds, bro. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean that's 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 always the case, but that that goes back to what I was saying. Like, why is Cartel racing somebody's child? It's oh, bro. Like, yo, at the end of the day, though, Reed, and this is something that you know. I say it all the time, bro. You, mm -hmm. you know this. This for me, like especially with my BMW, bro. Mm -hmm. You think I don't know, bro? Like I know exactly what I'm racing when I'm racing it. You know what I'm saying? Am I am I more way more mindful now? Yeah, mm -hmm. I am. But at the same time, I know what I'm doing, bro. When I went and I raced reckless, I knew what I was getting into, bro. You know what I'm saying? I know what the bikes. I know what it is, and I know what it's not. Doesn't mean I give a fuck, bro. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It doesn't bother me personally. And I'm competitive. What I'm competitive about is just different. You know what I'm saying? This this shit right here, bro, for me, I go out, I have a shit ton of fun, bro, and I go back, win or lose. Don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. Now, hey, when I come out with the ZX-10, maybe that'll be a different story for me. But yeah. the BMW, I know what it is, and I know what it's not, bro. And, you know, either way, if I go out there and I have fun, gapped, not gapped, does not fucking matter to me. Which, which is another thing, too. A lot of people out here, bro, and a lot of these young guys, not all you motherfuckers are, are winning. So where the fuck are your losses? Because there's not a lot of you guys. There's not a lot of you guys that are fucking. Oh man, we, let's, hey. let's, let's all fucking put our big boy pants oh, on, man. right? And yeah. post both and post both of them shits, bro. Because I'm sick and tired of seeing everybody you're always winning, winning, winning. That doesn't fucking exist. Hey, you I, get, I, you I, get you getting your ass whooped somewhere, bro. Post both. Hey, I post it. You know what? If you go through my IG, all you're gonna see is losses from me. That's all I do is lose on my Gen 3. Oh, bro. Remember, bro, in the <laughs> beginning, I was posting, man, when I was learning, I was afraid of fucking hitting the, and hitting it hard on my BMW, bro. I was losing left and right, bro. Oh, mm -hmm. you know, the, the bike used to be faster. I heard that one all the time. The bike used to be faster. Bro, it wasn't that the bike was fucking faster. First of all, the person that rode this bike most of the time before me was 140 fucking pounds. And the bike was pretty much set up for him. So mm. let's let's call it what it is, bro. 140 versus 190 something plus rider. Yeah, mm. there's gonna be a big fucking difference there, bro. Let's keep it exactly. Fun, bro. You know what I mean? The I know once again, I know what the bike is and I know what it's not. Dude. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of the tuner, you're only gonna get so much out of a fucking stock bike unless you start playing with fucking fuels, bro. You know, mm -hmm. these guys is out here mixing nitro with fucking everything. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah. Play with that yeah. if you want, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Play with that if you want. To each their own, bro. Couldn't give a fuck less. But let, you know what I'm saying? Regular fuels we're talking about here. Your MR12, the whatever the fuck you decide to use, bro. Stock right. bikes are only going to make so much. Bro. You know right. what I'm saying? So let's, let's fucking, let's keep it real here, bro. Start posting your losses when you fucking lose because it happens to everybody. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't know what's everybody's infatuation with fucking, you know what I'm saying? Never posting their fucking losses. Man, I'll tell you what. Realistic. One of, one of the, the things that I've seen recently, and um, this will be one of the last topics then, right? Is if you're a big guy, and you're on a power adder versus a small guy, I can kind of get behind it because I can understand it. What I see mm -hmm. is 
Cameron on his Ninja H2. And I told him this. He's on an H2 at whatever his weight is, which I know his weight, but I can put it out there, versus some NA bike somewhere. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I'm just kind of like, but you're on an H2, though. Like, you're supposed to win. You're supposed yeah. to beat the shit out of whatever the fuck you're racing, yeah. especially at your size. It's not like my big ass on an H2 racing some max effort 140 pound guy like bro you're supposed so like what sometimes and like i said there's nothing against him but i told him this like na versus power adder if you're a smaller guy versus smaller guy and one has a i just don't i don't yeah yeah no, i don't i don't see not, that like that shit's yeah, not equal bro the I, math I don't, the math ain't math in there dude it don't bro it don't you know what i mean yeah and it's math. wild because as you when you, whenever you get your bikes like uh set up and people want to call you out and do all of this stuff, you're gonna see like there's gonna be one or two people that's that's a child sized guy trying to get over with with nitrous or a, a H2 or a turbo or something. And it's gonna be like, are you are you seriously right? Like you're trying to race my BMW with that? Don't worry about it. I got some for it. You go back to the house or you go and get your tent. Now, yeah. you as 190 pounds versus the child with a bigger, better platform. Oh, no, 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 no. That's too much. I don't want to race. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What? And, there, and there's that. There's <laughs> what? That yeah, there, there's that too. That's social, you know, so like a lot of the guys, man, I, I see these races, bro, and I'm just Being like. Being afraid to fucking lose, bro. Being afraid to lose. Like, what? what is it? What is it that sits? And I mean, right, like maybe it's just a, like being 39, right? I'm a grown ass man, bro. I, I look at life in general different than maybe a, a 25 or 30 year old even sometimes. You know what I mean? Like I'm in a different place. So maybe, you, you know, what bothers me may not, you know, what, what bothers them is fucking a fart in the wind to me. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't give a flying fuck. So right. I mean... It, it could be it could be a multitude of things, right? And social media is gonna be social media, bro. You know, and a lot of these guys take this shit way too fucking serious. Because I honestly today we're huh? doing this shit for free, my boy. But yeah, but it's it, but is it though? Is it free? Because you got that clout, bro. You gotta have the clout. You gotta. And it, what it, the it. fuck does that earn you? A five percent, you know, in the gen in the masses here, right? Like a fucking. A discount from a fucking dealer, bro. Having like a fucking a bike with a lot of clout. What is it like? Is it earning you money on YouTube, TikTok? Like, it, where are you at with it? Are you making money? Because if you're making I mean, money on these platforms now, now let's talk about it. But if you're it not, could. bro, it yeah, could. absolutely, absolutely. But are you on that level? It is is what I'm saying. Like, are you on that level of making money from these platforms? Well, you gotta start somewhere. Hell, I guess you get yeah, enough bro. clout behind you, man. And hey, listen, once again, I don't it know. goes to if you're if you're okay, if like clout is your thing, bro, and you just want to have a name in the scene, then mm -hmm. by bro, go for it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm far from a fucking hater, bro. If that's what you want to do and that's what you like, handle that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Not a big deal. It's right. just that, man, listen. Be be be. If that's the road you're gonna go on, understand what comes with that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just just understand what comes with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, again, everything is social media driven. So, a hundred percent. You know, obviously, when we were coming up, not to make ourselves now old, but when we were like. I mean, you you do want to look good in the eyes of other people. So, like, more wins, obviously. Plus, you don't want to be that $50,000 spending guy, talk your bike up forever, and then get your ass whooped by something that's less than. You just, because you look like uh, a fool. 100%. But that, you know what I mean? again, you should have never opened your motherfucking mouth, my boy. True. Don't True. open up your mouth and then not expect someone to put you on front street. 
eventually someone's gonna put you on front street bro yeah yeah somebody's gonna beat you like it every there's always somebody faster like i know that's a cliche but it's true like there's always somebody faster so you just gotta run into everybody's fast until fast shows up and that's what i always be telling people man. like mike mike tyson said man everybody's tough until they get punched in the fucking face right yeah yeah so i mean that's in essence i mean that's that's it you know i think whatever the role community is going into now um the role race community is gonna right now though like i said i can't wait until we start oh our guest man damn yeah we gotta discuss that briefly all right but whoever watched it this far man we're trying something new we on pre-recording <laughs> excuse me pre-recording right now and so uh cartel had this grand idea since we are both busy um we'll do pre-records pre and then we'll have guests um because what people don't understand is the reason why we don't have guests on um or when we do have guests on it takes a lot of behind the scenes coordinations to get that guest on there that's just like any other podcast or show yeah you know Unless we're friends with them, but I mean, having, I don't know, Carpenter Racing on here, bro, like, you got to kind of coordinate and see when it's good 100%. for the guests. You know what I mean? And then we support, we we change, um, we do what we can surrounding the guests. So either way it goes, we do have, we still have our list of guests. Um, I think that me and my man is going to try to get our lives together, not our it's you know it's me it's my fault i i made it seem like it was your fault too but you're not, you're okay. not you know L you listen know. At, at the end of the day what <laughs> reaper's trying to fucking say here is that you know we're gonna give you guys more episodes a week so it'll be a pre-recording and then a live and that's and that's what we're going with to give you guys more content and yes it won't be live but the conversations we have, we will re we in the next episode, the live episode, we will look through the comments. And you guys want to jump on that one? We'll definitely interact with you guys like we usually do. Mm -hmm. It's just to bring you guys a little bit more, maybe give you guys something to think about for a couple of days until we go live. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You, could, you guys can inbox us. We have you know Instagram, TikTok, fucking uh, Facebook. Hit us up. You know what I mean? And we have no problem interacting in whatever platform, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But a lot of the things on the pre-recordings, we will double back on on the live, you know what I'm saying? Along with having guests and hey, sometimes maybe it'll just be if it's a lot of interest on the pre-recording, the live will be about the pre-recording. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of different, uh, it could segue into a lot of things, but I feel like this will be great for you guys. So we keep things going and the ball going, you know what I'm saying? Because we're both very busy, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We do this out of the love, you know, we had events, we've had vacation and events, a whole bunch of shit going on. So we're here now and we're right. back, you know what I'm saying? We're coming for that ass, pause, you know what I mean? So, you know, I oh, hope you guys enjoyed oh, this. Oh, <laughs> I don't know about all that, but okay. <laughs> all right. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah. Yeah. But um, we were in the trenches, and we're back now. <laughs> bro, you better <laughs> you better stop saying that shit, bro. <laughs> I yeah, okay. <laughs> but yo, right. what what you got? What you you want to you want to end it off? What what you got to say, Reed? Bro, I'm good. You know, um, perhaps uh, just look forward to, I think the next one will be some form of a guest. Hopefully, though, it's the Jixer 1000 versus Busa. So it does a stroker Busa equate to a, a stroker Jixer. I don't know. We're going to ask EJR and Will Samiti, uh, which are two of the fastest in the game. We talked about them during this, um, this cast. So um, let's talk directly to them and see. That's That's the plan. Got you, got you. All right, brother, and yeah, and, and that's that for this one, guys. You know what I'm saying? We're glad to be back. Uh, it was a good time. I hope y'all have a great night, and we'll see y'all soon. And then, you know what we need? We need what you have. That at the very end. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll edit that in there. I'll edit that. All right. All right. Peace, y'all.